that skeleton into that body so that we've got the joints exactly where they need to be moving and then it becomes a process of paintwork on it. After we cast the body, I took it and I cut off the nose and we cut out parts of his skull and face and exposed it to things. To put the hair on it, that got replicated by one hair at a time being punched into the silicone to achieve, I think, a highly realistic replica. Cleaned up. Our model shop department gets every part back and inspects it, takes it up to a spit polish shine, and then it goes to mold. After all of our experience doing robots and Iron Man and all these things, we work out different lighter weight materials, urethanes, different durometers, types of materials that we have made back together again.